What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and welcome back to Angel's Life. All right, y'all, so in today's video, we are doing part two of our uniform series where we are going to be focusing on jeans, okay? Jeans and how we are elevating our jeans because y'all know I told y'all in the last video, jeans read casual, but she wants to be perceived as perceived as elevated chic okay so let's talk about how we about to elevate our jeans <laughs> before we get into the video i want to say welcome to all my new subscribers welcome back to all my day ones what's up y'all how y'all doing my name is angel i run a style travel and lifestyle channel so if any of that sounds interesting to you please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos let's jump right into it y'all know i got my notes <laughs> All right, y'all, so jeans. The reason that I think jeans are a great uniform staple, especially for fall and winter, mainly winter, because that's the season that we in, Comment down below, let me know if y'all feel like I should do a uniform for each season, okay? Because I'm leaning towards that way. I kind of already got some spring ideas geared up. Gear up, okay? But comment down below, let me know if you would like me to do a uniforms for each season. So we're gonna focus on winter just in case y'all comment and say, yes, girl, we need that, we want that, give it to us. <laughs> Jeans are great for winter because one, they're gonna cover your legs, okay? So you ain't gotta worry about being cold out in these streets if it's a little cold, if it's a little breezy, or if it's freezing, okay? Two, you can layer jeans very well because they are pants, girl. If it's real cold, throw you on some thermals underneath. If it's not cold, you live in a climate where it doesn't get very cold, but it's a little chilly, you can do a thinner jean or a thinner denim, okay? <laughs> and another reason that I think jeans are like the perfect uniform or the perfect piece to build a uniform around in the winter is because they are so accessible you literally can find good jeans at target at abercrombie at neiman marcus at walmart hell to be honest depending on the kind of jeans you are looking for you could potentially find them at your local beauty supply store okay jeans are so accessible and i know you got a pair in that closet so don't you take your ass out here in these streets and mind you some more jeans after watching this video you got a pair that you could work with for right now work with that pair Okay, work with that pair. And then when you're ready to like say, hey, we're gonna add one more, one, two, three more to go with our uniformity, that's when you get another pair. But you work with the pairs you got now. I'm not joking, I'm not playing with your ass. Jeans are so accessible. They are so easy to, they're just so easy to wear in most cases, right? Now I did mention in the last video that jeans read casual and they do. But of course, y'all know that one of the ways that I want to be perceived when I walk out into the world is elevated chic, right? And elevated chic isn't like the opposite of casual. It, I feel like it's somewhere in between the middle of like business and casual. Like we're right there at that middle ground, like, she got a job, but her job is fun because she got them jeans on. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So because of that, when it comes to my fit or style of jeans, I do like to lean towards getting a fun and flirty style of jean, if that makes sense, okay? And if it doesn't make sense, let me explain a little bit. So flirty jeans, in my opinion, right? In my humble opinion, flirty jeans are always high-waisted. Furthermore, because of my body type, I feel like high-waisted jeans look the best on me. Flirty jean, which is something that I, always, I lean towards are bell bottoms, flares, and wide legs. Bell bottoms, flares, and wide legs. I low key feel like I've described the same thing, but just said three different words to basically describe the same type of jean. But jeans that have a flare at the bottom, jeans that have a split hem, jeans that are bell bottom completely, jeans that are wide leg. I love those styles of jeans. One, typically they tend to be um, slimmer in the leg, and then that nice bell bottom tends to elongate me. So I really, really like those styles of jeans because y'all know I'm only five feet. And not just that high-waisted, flare bottom, bell bottom, wide leg, girl, they're always going to give flirty. 
okay? Flirty, <laughs> and I love that. The next style of jean that I like to focus on, because again, pretty much all my jeans are high-waisted, that's what I like. I'll take a mid-rise if it leans towards high-rise, but y'all not about to catch me in no low-rise jeans, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl, y'all can have that. Y'all can keep that 2000s, <laughs> y'all can keep that one. Girl, no, no. Fun style of jeans to me is a straight leg. I love me a straight leg jean. The reason that I feel like a straight leg jeans is fun is because they go with everything. Like, I don't care. They go with everything. And whereas my flared jeans, right, my flirty flared jeans, I do not get them distressed. A straight leg though, however, girl, there is power in a distressed straight leg. Now I am leaning towards, I mean, I'm leaning away from getting distressed jeans. Maybe because I'm older, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna still always have at least one pair in there. One to two pair, but a distressed straight leg jean, something about that just, it hit home. It hits home for me. I love how fun a distressed straight leg looks but even if it's not distressed even if it's a regular straight leg because we're focusing on winter and Joe don't get off track don't get off track so scratch that because distressed is for another season not this season another season even though we have a distressed one we're gonna talk about that later straight leg jean reads fun to me it's fun it's cute, it's easy to style, and I absolutely love that, okay? So we have high-waisted, and those are basically the two jeans that I stick with because those are the two jeans that I feel like work best for me and my body type and my lifestyle. Another way to make a jean fun is to play with color. Y'all know I said in the last video, I feel my best. I feel like my most stylish when I am playing in color. So getting a colored, um, jean is also something that you could play around with or just playing with the shades right once upon a time i would only wear a lighter denim in um, spring and summer but now i am not opposed to wearing a lighter denim in the winter as y'all will see <laughs> But that is how I that is how I pick or focus on my styles because those are the things that I feel like or focus on my jean cut rather because those are the ways that I feel are the best for me and my lifestyle. Now, I've told y'all and again, I've named a bunch of places where you can get jeans from. One of my favorite is Abercrombie. I also tend to like Zara's jeans. They actually have very good jeans. Um, and then some higher end brands or contemporary brands like Hus Hudson and Frame. Frame makes some of my favorite jeans, y'all. And Mother, y'all. I love Mother and Mother Snacks. But also Abercrombie, I have gotten jeans from Target. Hands down, the most jeans that I own are from Levi's. Levi's have great jeans. Levi's has great denim, period. So you could get the jeans from anywhere, but I know you have some in your closet, so don't your ass go off there and buy no jeans. Now that we've talked a little bit about the fit and where I get the jeans, let me give y'all some examples, some winter examples, in my opinion. Um, of some styles that I think look really good with the jeans and how we are going to elevate the jeans. All right, y'all, so the way that we elevate jeans, it's one do and one don't do it like that, if that makes sense. If it don't make sense, we're gonna get into it. So the do, always wear jeans with a heel. It is, and when I say always, I mean 95% of the time. There's always that 5% where you're gonna throw on a sneaker, throw on a flat. I'm not a flat girl. Now y'all know that if you have been a follower and a subscriber for a while, you know I do not wear flats. Flats are not really my thing. I will wear a sneaker, I will wear a heel. Booted heel, heel nonetheless, you know what I mean? Cause I like that height. Again, I'm only five feet tall, so I love that height. But what I'm not gonna do, y'all know I don't do no flats. This ballet flat trend, let it die. Let it die, I say. These merry jeans, let them die. I don't like it, I don't like it. But the do in elevating jeans, 
are wearing a heel and the heel does not have to be high i'm not saying that you have to have some six inch heel i'm not saying that it had you know the heel does not have to be high but even a little heel is going to elevate a look versus wearing a flat or wearing a sneaker okay that is one way and the one do to get a jean look to be elevated and not read so casual the second which is a don't do it like this is don't wear the jeans with just a t-shirt huh huh okay if you are going to wear the jeans with a t-shirt add a piece add a not so casual piece to elevate the t-shirt and also play with the jean cut if you are going to be wearing a t-shirt perfect example and i will have an actual outfit example of this if you're going to wear a t-shirt wear a blazer right and i would do a flirty style of jean versus a fun style so i have my t-shirt and then i have my flare jeans and then i have my blazer you get what i'm saying yeah you see it you see it and if you don't see it i'm gonna give you an example so <laughs> the dudes wear a heel the don't do it like that don't wear just the t-shirt let's add a cardigan or add a blazer or add something that's gonna kind of like elevate the look i'm sorry y'all angel is back there with his draws on yeah i cannot today is his birthday by the way so happy birthday angel <laughs> all right y'all let's get into the examples that's how y'all know i love y'all by the way okay i'm working on my baby birthday but we're gonna go have a lot of fun after this so anyway so the first look that i have for y'all is this look that i have on today our outfit of the day i have my green uh silk blouse from lily silk these denim zara jeans and then my trusty trusted and dusty steve madden patent leather heels y'all again the look is so easy but it's so the the payoff is so good in my opinion and it's not complicated to do any silk shirt y'all remember the last video when we had on the yellow trousers with the white blouse i actually was going to do that shirt the only reason i didn't is because the shirt is dirty so instead we got the green throw you on a camel coat on top of this in case it's a little cold outside and you are out the door you're out the door and that is the epitome of elevated sheet to me girl it's grab 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 and go easy so easy okay the jean come on now come on the look is good i absolutely love this look y'all know i like my shirts open you know y'all know i do today no no bra tape nothing no what, what is it not bra tape titty tape um i love the look i love the look very very elevated chic to me and like i said if it's colder throw on that camel coat and if it's not that cold if you live in texas it's not that cold or if you live somewhere further down south I would put on a cardigan or a blazer. Now I will say this, I am not so much a blazer girl, but a, for the girls who are blazer girls, I prefer a cardigan over a blazer, that's just my opinion. But for the girls who are blazer girls, throw on that blazer over top and you're out the door and ready to go. So I absolutely love this look. Love how easy it is to put together and love the payoff. Cause it, the jeans are really elevated in my opinion let's move on to the second look, y'all so the second look is this beautiful orange sweater the lighter distress levi jeans and then we have on a gold heel y'all it's so easy it's so easy listen now i will say this the sweater is actually like a sweater dress but girl the bottom part horrific I, 10 out of 10 i could not recommend but this top piece this orange turtleneck top piece baby chef's kiss this is a a uniform that can easily be carried into the spring easily be carried into the spring like no questions asked again the orange sweater um which was a dress but we're using the top piece as a sweater alone the orange piece is from avocado on ride the pants are levi's that i got via target and the shoes are nine west the look 
works. If it's colder, throw on a um, coat. That same camel coat that we talked about last time, that's the one. Camel is such, like having a camel coat is like a wardrobe necessity for fall as far as I'm concerned. Because camel, in my opinion, kind of goes with everything. But the look is giving, it is easy, it is fun, and it just gives. And the sweater elevates the jeans so much. The sweater and the heel elevate the jeans. Comment down below, tell me that it's not. Tell me that it's not, tell me that it doesn't. You can't, girl, you can't. So absolutely love this look down 10 out of 10 would recommend it is the epitome of elevated chic to me again grab the sweater grab the jeans grab the heel out the door let's move on to the next look all right y'all so the next two pieces y'all i love and i live these are new in pieces that are going to be in my new in video for january um but we have this stalled top the Hudson jeans, and then I have on this gold uh, metallic platform, or gold metallic heel. Y'all, first of all, these jeans are from Hudson. I did get them via uh, Saks Off Fifth. Fine. This is flirty. These jeans are flirty, and I love every bit of them. I told y'all in the last video, I feel my best when I am playing in color. This top doing it for me. This top doing it for me, baby. Now y'all see the first look, green top, okay, plain in color. The second look, orange sweater, plain in color. And now we have this red. Believe it or not, I do not re wear red often. I do not wear red or orange often because I felt like they were colors that just, I'm not gonna say didn't look well on me, but they are just not colors that I gravitate towards. I think y'all gonna be seeing some red and orange this year. Y'all gonna be seeing a little bit of red and orange this year because I love the way this orange and this red are sitting on my body. Usually I gravitate towards greens and pinks, but we gonna have to throw red and orange in the mix because I love it. I love the cut of this top. I love how flirty the top is and how it, it goes so well with the flirty jeans in my opinion. Y'all, Love this look, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I also got this thawed shirt via Saks Off Fifth. They also had brown and black at my local Saks Off Fifth, but y'all love this thawed top. Like, love it down, okay? Love it down. Again, I will, these, both of these will be featured in my new end video, so make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit the, click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. <laughs> but y'all, let's move on to the next look. Clearly it's a theme and a trend because again, we're playing with color at the top. We have this blue knit sweater, the hoodie sweater. Same one that we had from the last video, obviously a different color. Um, then we have these black jeans and a black boot coat draped over top. In case you don't know, I love me a little drape. I love me a little coat draped over top of something. I don't know why, something about it is just so, it's so Hollywood to me and I love every bit of it. So extra, so dramatic and I love that. So the blue knit sweater, hoodie sweater, the blue knit hoodie, that's what we're gonna call it. The blue knit hoodie is from Avocado on Rye. Uh, the jeans are Abercrombie, the boots are Gianni Benny via Dillers and the jacket is Zara. Again, this look, probably the most of all of them, reads very casual, even though once you drape that jacket over top, it's giving like, okay, okay, she do this. She do this for a living and does, and does. <laughs> I love it. Again, the color with the blue, I love the blue on top, the black, I love the black with the gray, I love the gray with the blue. I love the colors even though they are toned down, especially compared to the other looks. But still, we are still playing in color. I love every bit of it. Love me a nice black straight leg jean. High waist giving. What more is there to say? Let's move on to this last look. All right, y'all, so this last look is the exception, and that is where we throwing in the t-shirt. So for the last look, we have the Diana Ross t-shirt. Now we do have it tied up, okay? If it's cold, don't tie it up. If, you, if it ain't that cold, tie it up, cause that's cute. We have the gray jeans, right? Pink, um, 
what is it, Bagdalia Mishka heels, and then the green sea moss long sweater from Avocado on Rye. So, if you're gonna do a t-shirt, right, make it fun and make it flirty. I feel like that's how I, that's, that's how I envision it. I know a lot of times girls do like a straight leg jean with a t-shirt, maybe a white t-shirt and a blazer. And then they'll do it with a flat or maybe a heel or whatever the case is. That has never been a look that has gravitated towards me per se. I don't know why, but something about it, even though it's chic, it is very chic. And I do think it reads elevated chic. Something about it, in my opinion, reads cookie cutter. Um, and nothing is wrong with cookie cutter, but I don't think it speaks to who I am, right? And again, I also am not the biggest fan of blazers. Like, I think blazers are super chic and I own blazers, but I prefer to wear a blazer with my suit. Like if I, like, I've been selling, y'all know I've been going through my wardrobe, selling all my clothes, I sold all of my individual blazers. The only blazers that I have left are the blazers that go with my suits. Because if I'm going to wear a blazer, I need it to be multifunctional so you can go with those suit pants and we're good to go. That's what speaks to me more than, than just, buy, just having and owning a blazer on its own. And again, I would prefer a cardigan or a jacket, preferably a cardigan or a denim jacket over a blazer. So in that look, right, I would do a denim jacket, you know, over, but a den denim is going to also read super casual. Like denim on denim, denim it reads super casual, but a way to dress that up as well is throw on a heel, get you that camel coat, add those accessories that make you just look like, oh, okay, she did not come to play. She means business in her Canadian tuxedo. But back to the, back to the outfit at hand, the jeans are a very, very flared, very bell-bottom style jean. That's what gives it. That's what gives it that flirty. That's what gives it that fun. That's oh, excuse me. That, in my opinion, judge, judges it up versus you know when you have on the t-shirt something else that judges the t-shirt up is the shoes. We have the satin shoes with the you know gem on it. All of that is giving personality to just jeans and a t-shirt to the point that it doesn't even feel like it's just jeans and a t-shirt. The t-shirt is tied up, the jeans are flared, the shoes are shoeing, and then we add the cardigan over top to keep us warm. If you're gonna do jeans and a t-shirt, do it, but make it fun. Make it flirty. Make it something that stands out you understand what i'm saying versus just doing jeans a t-shirt a blazer and a sneaker or jeans a t-shirt a blazer and a flat or a heel i do love this look really does speak to me i did sell those jeans and the only reason i sold the jeans was because the color i don't i gray is not a color that i'm fond of but y'all that's all i got that those are the looks that is the way that you, I feel like you elevate jeans. You make jeans elevated chic, okay? If you're gonna do, the, the do's, wear a heel. The don'ts, do it like that, is wear a t-shirt, but don't just wear a t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we're gonna get into it, cause I have this same thing for spring. Listen, the video getting too long. <laughs> Comment down below, tell me if y'all agree, tell me what, how are y'all gonna be styling y'all jeans this winter? Tell me if you like high rise jeans or if you like low rise jeans. Cause if you like low rise jeans, I'm questioning you. No, I'm just kidding. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching, okay? Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Angel's Life and on TikTok at One Angel's Life. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.